Now what? Chovy and Chovy and Choky. Do you know how you've got those like nicknames for players when they play well or when they int? Mm-hmm. Well, do you know who you're playing Short, Sejuani? Who... Expl... What? Like when you're playing Sejuani, you call yourself X Smithy? No, 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 no. <laughs> like individual players. Like so, like there's there's like plays like double a saving flash and X Smithy missing Sejuani ult. Mm -hmm. That that's like a meme play, but like you know how like when Caps is playing bad, it's crap, or when he's playing well, it's well, there's X shitty. X shitty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. There's a pro player in Korea whose nickname when he plays bad is George. Who? Come on, think of it. Think about it. George. I don't watch. I don't watch it. It's, what is... it's uh, when Tarzan plays bad. <laughs> he's George. Fuck. <laughs> The jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I need to get my chicken nuggets. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, now that nothing's gonna burn down my apartment. <laughs> are you gonna log in or are you gonna spectate off of my screen? I was gonna log in. I just haven't relaunched yet. Okay. Oh yeah, they're team big. I forgot about that. Wait. They're not they're playing team. They're team two and team big. Julia. <laughs> Julia is what they named uh, Yorick's ultimate. Denise is when Stylus <laughs> steals Daisy, steals Ivern ults and summons Daisy. It's a Denise. <laughs> nice. Here, um. Wait. Help. Heck. Kill. Randall's the name of Orn's ram. <laughs> he summons. And Ronald is when Silas summons it. <laughs> Holy crap. Come, 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 hurry. I'm okay, here, spectator. But... Spectator. Okay. <laughs> All right, time to watch. Do you have you don't have the link? Uh No, it's fine. You just Boom. The pro draft. Team one versus T big. Oh, okay. We're not streaming on some UMKC channel that I was about to get banned by saying. <laughs> Actually, we're being hosted, so. Posted by the gamers. 
So it's Yikes. it is going through that broadcast. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll keep my uh, I'll keep my memeing to a appropriate level. <laughs> okay. And by that I mean hiding their chat, jeez Louise. <laughs> okay, the Vigar ban. Interesting. <laughs> Who on their team plays Vigar? AJ. AJ doesn't play Vigar though. I, I get the Ori and the Zed ban, but I, I'd like to know what they're thinking about that with that one. Uh, so the f Nautilus first pick. Maybe so it's I a, would I would expect a response of like. Set Aphelios or Orn. Orn would be a good pick here. Senna's okay. Swain is okay. Senna. Senna, Tom Kench. Senna, literally Senna and any melee champion in the support role. Mm -hmm. We will see. Blitzcrank. You could uh, run Blitzcrank it's, Senna. It's Delp's Blitzcrank. But I don't. I think Nautilus is just better Blitzcrank, so. <laughs> I'll have to pick a safe AD carry here. Have you the pro player's meme about Nautilus winning the game by hooking literally anything. Hook a wall, that's an engage. Hook a champion, that's an engage. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Yorick. Logan's Yorick. Okay. Band away. Two hooks. We left the puts up. Do they, they should pick Senna here. They should pick Senna and Nautilus bot lane. That would be yeah, nasty. It's pretty good. Senna has to be able to dodge though. Who's uh? What's oh, it's a Draven. <laughs> Draven's we're got gonna, a real fun Yeah, time he's gonna add, have telegraph Yorick twenty times <laughs> and gets hooked by Blitzcrank on the second axe throw. Yes. <laughs> Countering himself in a matchup, but I guess if he doesn't get shut down early, he can pop off. I think you pick oh. your mid laner here. I think you have to pick LeBlanc here. Thank you for the follow, man. <laughs> there we go. LeBlanc. So now you know their bot lane and their mid lane. So I think you just counter pick a mid here and save last pick for your top laner. No, wait, your top laner's already picked. They want the Warwick here, right? Because that's uh, <laughs> Richard's one, one trick. trick yeah. yeah. Let's see. Do they pick it? Or are they gonna? Oh, okay. Gonna okay. No, no, no. They're okay with letting the Warwick through because uh, Scarner's Scarner's their uh, their secondary. Their, their go -to. Yeah. They're, they're yeah. I think they're okay with letting that. Yeah, that's that makes some sense. But they can just ban Scarner Warwick here. I think you ban Scarner mm. here. Scarner Silver is a stupid combo. Yeah, I don't know about the Warwick ban. The Moo Moo. So I think you ban Skarner. So who's left? The mid laner? Right. So you 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 ban yeah, you ban Aaron Syndra and then you ban Skarner. Right? Are they in no they're Aaron... not in order in client. I don't know who's playing what role. So you ban Syndra. So on Team Big, uh Logan Yorick one trick is playing top. Richard is playing jungle. Warwick one trick. Uh, Aaron is playing mid. We, AD carry and Delpoon is support. Oh, Aaron's mid lane. Aaron is okay. mid lane. You just ban Syndra and then you're chilling. Yeah. And Syndra counters LeBlanc. Yeah. Pretty well, it, it's a even matchup. You've seen. Okay, we're gonna leave the Skarner up for. Some unholy reason. It's not like the <laughs> mid laner is gonna pick your more. Why would I don't they... think Mort's that good into LeBlanc. They've already picked but... their top laner. Yeah, if you pick it into the LeBlanc, she can just jump around, right? I, I it's guess really hard to AJ get onto them unless not, they're so worried about the Draven. Pick. The Nocturne okay. pickup. I think that's gonna go jungle. Yeah. I'd like to see a very proactive early game jungler here on the side of Team One just to make Nocturne less relevant. Because it's really hard for Nocturne to ult into Nautilus. It's hard for Nocturne to get onto LeBlanc without her already being back at her tier 1. So Set is the pickup. Uh, that can go top or jungle. We still don't know. 
But I think that's set into Yorick. I think Yorick's actually decent in that matchup. Yeah. And we're gonna get to see what their jungler is here. I think, like... Ramus. Ramus, okay. 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 Who's so their they jungler? Only have oh, really it's... one source of magic damage. That Rise of Chaos? Uh, or... I think Rise is top. Okay. Who's their... Who is their jungler? So they saved their... Uh, the dude, maybe? Their LeBlanc f counter pick for last pick, and it's going to be Echo. Unless that's a Nocturne mid Echo jungle. But I don't think. No, Aaron plays Echo. Aaron doesn't. I don't think uh, they play Nocturne jungle. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to have to sit through the three minute delay. So do you want to continue to educate us on the LCK's ins and outs? Okay, yeah, we have uh, Julia. That's that's the name for Yorick's ult, so be cautious of that. When when we see Yorick ult up in talk lane, he's he's bringing out Julia. He's showing her to the neighbors. Yeah. Why is he been hiding her in a basement all these years? Why is he just bringing no, her she's, out? She's just shy. She's such a big. Uh, oh, okay. He's dragging her out then. Okay. <laughs> he's dragging her out. Sometimes he'll just let her go, and she'll just go down a lane. I see. I see. We're doing the same bans instead of banning out all the A's in the alphabet because no one picked a champion that's name started with A. So you could really just ban those and then get the, <laughs> the champ, champs like moving along here. But, but we're. I guess we're typing in the name every single time. That's okay. I'm gonna go refresh my water real quick. Be right back. Let's see. Mumu ban, punkers. Oh, that was an actual ban. So uh, we're we're still going at the snail's pace. We we could pick it up. We had Stretch Armstrong banned on the red side. That's a good one. Oh, Kill All Humans got his account. Yeah, he did. TOS. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't said anything bad yet, okay? Let's <laughs> keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have 50 seconds of waiting before we have three minutes of waiting. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. 
I'm looking forward to watching this bottom lane. Oh, I love how Riot's like telling me to tab back to show me that the match starts in uh, zero seconds, when in fact, I have <laughs> a two minute delay. Two minute, two minute and 55 seconds 50. delay. Oof. Poggers. Mm hmm. Is that all the L LCK terminology you have? Oh, I, I didn't. I didn't read them all off to you, but. No. Uh, we got Super Korean T1, which is uh, what they say because they keep accidentally saying SKT T1 because uh, Riot Games, not Riot, uh, SKT dropped the SKT from their user, from their name. So when you're casting them, you sometimes actually say SKT. And so you're obviously just referring to them as Super Korean. You got Sonic bot lane, which is when you pick Sonoteric. I've heard that one, okay. Mm hmm Silos is when you pick Silas and you lose because of it in draft. What's another one? The Collective is, I'm pretty sure that's what they call Twitch Chat. <laughs> <laughs> the Collective is Twitch Chat. Hmm. Should I put music on the stream? Uh, I don't know, should you? We're in loading. I could use some, uh, what's some League of Legends music? We're not going to do Silver Scrapes until game two, but... The sun is when you have Dragon Soul. The collective, let's see, the Hydra. Is Africa's Keen Sandbox Summit Dom on Game and Snuggery and Khan the best top laners? So you've got the sun for when a team gets Infernal Drakesel. You've got Pennywise for when a team gets Clown Drakesel. You've got Ocean Man when you get Ocean Soul. This can also be referred to as having a free Soraka on your team. <laughs> <laughs> You've got Mount Everest is the term for when you get Mountain Soul. Ah. Uh, I didn't think Mountain Soul was that good. Call it Mount Everest. Or just the mountain. For short. You know what a pog state is then, right? A pog state is when they're actually fighting. Yeah. Delay is over. Delay is over. Remember to look out for uh, our good friend Julia. She will make an appearance this game. Hopefully. If York ever gets level 6. Uh, pretty standard on the runes, and I don't see anything too crazy. Uh, both junglers erecting for the domination tree secondary instead of something like uh, water walking and nimbus cloak, which I seem to think are the best two runes as secondary on jungle. But hopefully, that's not for something like cheap shot for. Maybe Ultimate Hunter on Nocturne is fine, but you should pair it with like a Zombie Ward, it's really good. Let me know when you're loaded. I am 99% loaded. Same. 100% loaded. Not same. Oh, yes, same. I am now looking at the Red Fountain. It's gray. No one has spawned.
we should pause the game at five seconds in and then on the count of three press play okay i have not started the clock yet because my game has not loaded that far i'm gonna pause the game at five seconds paused one two three play mm -mm -mm. <laughs> do you want to pause it at 10 yeah okay now you say one to press play three two one play we got pings coming out from the blue side that they want to go to that bot lane tri bush nautilus and draven are starting the game off great by standing still not quite ready for that load screen to be done it seems <laughs> blitzcrank is coming in he wants to get in there to get that booty Blitzcrank walking in. He's going to find the Nautilus. Is he going to pull the trigger? He pulls the trigger, misses the hook, Nautilus hooks away. So that was the excitement for this early game. I will see you in two minutes <laughs> after lane phase has begun. Excellent skin choice on the Draven and the Nautilus, using the two best ones in the game. Nautilus being obnoxious and spamming mastery, which in makes Draven do it as well. <laughs> uh, yes, the mob mentality. Good luck, have fun, mm. comes out into the chat. Puckers! Echo uses first Q on the wave. He might be looking to shove this one in, but I don't know if he can against the block. AJW auto electrocute. Let's go. Early push in mid lane going in favor of the LeBlanc. Corrupting potion charges used on the side of Echo, but none on the side of LeBlanc. The scoreboard is messed up. I'm gonna fix that real quick. Oh yeah, should do the same. There we go. And then I'm gonna turn off. I'm gonna turn on objectives. I'm gonna turn off score display. I want that on. I want scoreboard always on. And time controls turned off. There we go. How do I do all that? Uh, go to where directed camera is. Do you see the little eyeball? Yes. And then click that. You're going to get a pop up menu. AJ, looking to get that first blood. He will, in fact. He claim does it. it. Nice lane uh, vintage. Nautilus okay. gets hooked in. Nautilus is going to be forced to flash. Not going too well in this Draven lane. He sh really wants to be up a lot more than this right now. TP back from Echo. We'll see if that actually does him anything or just gets him solo killed again. As he loses a third of his health, he does have the Corrupting Potions, though. Nautilus gets hooked in again. This time he has Q, so he might look, but he's not taking the tower. And Sivir only decided to auto him once and let him walk away without punishing. Good hooks coming out from this Blitzcrank early on. Do we want to watch first blood again? I was working on settings. Uh, you can, and you can enlighten us at what happened. Nah, I'll pass. <laughs> Ram is coming in. There is no LeBlanc currently in lane, so he is probably just going to get away as Echo. Nocturne coming in for the counter. Uh, stop playing for me. Stopped playing. There has not been a pause on my side. And now it's playing again? What time are you at? 4.05. <laughs> I'm at 4.20. Nice. Stay there for a minute. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna pause it. I didn't know to pause it, so I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pause it at four thirty-five. I'm positive four thirty-five. Okay. 
15 seconds behind you. Just tell me when you get there. Paused? Okay. We go one play. Three, two, one, play. Not much going on here. Draven shoving the Sivir under tower, trying to get her to use that mana to clear the waves. They build up over there. Yorick gets a nice push. He does have a good CS advantage. Nice hook Ooh. canceled by the Nautilus. Right. Draven gets Queuing a up lot of damage down onto that Sivir. She wasn't forced to use heal. She's just going to have to reset, though. And she's going to lose a wave because there is a big one mounting. Top lane managing to pick up a lot of this. Okay. But there will be a. 10 or so CS advantage once all of picked up. Looking more to be like a 15 CS advantage. LeBlanc it's like Echo's having electric. to expend a lot of his mana in order to keep up with the LeBlancan lane. Yeah, and LeBlanc loses passive there. So Echo can all in her now without worrying about being unable to attack her for a second. Ooh, the cannon missed. Directed camera just showing Set's pain as he misses that cannon minion and chooses to attack the minion that the minions are not focusing and loses out on the other one. LeBlanc using her first ultimate usage to help push in this wave. Echo does not have teleport as he used it earlier to get back to wave, giving LeBlanc the ability to reset here. I do believe that wave will hit the tower. And all in all, I'm, we're, in, we're in a little bit of a lull state. Not much going on. Some hooks out from the Blitz crank. Logan may be looking to freeze top here. Front of his turret, gonna deny some even more CS on the set, opening him up for a gank as well. Nocturne is topside. The hook goes on, but does not do anything. He gets He's hooked under the turret Logan. here. He gets, oh! He's going to live. No. Was uh, Blitz E not up? I guess Blitz just didn't want it. Didn't want to E. So that could have been a kill Nocturne. there. Seen top. Set just losing very heavily in this top lane matchup. Really needs some help from that jungle to help him either get a crash off to get his first reset, or he might just have to bite the bullet and know that he can't do anything when this freeze is going on and just base. Echo Going pretty even right row. now. Echo doing the scuttle crab is interrupted by this Ramus, who does have smite, so it should be secured by him. Echo looking to be cheesy, try to get it, but does not quite. All in, on top lane, the soul has been summoned. Um, it's not what you call sets it. Just, sets just sort of tanking it. What's the name again? G Julia is sort Julia. of just <laughs> wailing on set, and set's just sort of letting it happen. Respectful dude. Nautilus hooks in, gets Sivir spell shielded. Now, there should be a period of time when Nautilus has hook and Sivir does not have spell shield. It's like a five second Draven window looking on that. To, uh, Draven's looking to punish. York roaming bot lane. Mid lane. They're looking to get. The LeBlanc. LeBlanc, oh, gets LeBlanc over the wall. jumps the wall, gets flashed she on. Might die, Draven she getting does get out hooked. For now. Draven oh, but Draven off. Fla so flashes. Solo kill. Support's <sighs> not needed in this lane. Draven's gonna look to dive here. Gets the double kill. Goes down uh, to Blitzcrank in the end. Lives to try. Nautilus almost gets out. But does not in the end. Good aggro from the red team trying to get that mid laner. Did they get her? She has a death mm. now. So I'm gonna assume yeah, they, they did. They have three kills. The Echo so flashed after to... her and picked up the kill. I guess that is good for them, but let's see what they're missing out. That they got that play, but when that happened, that's really good for the Draven because not only did he get the double kill and killed the enemy 
bot lane, he had the wave pushed into. So Sivir not only died, but missed out on all the minions and XP. With the same thing sort of happening in mid lane, it wasn't as bad for the LeBlanc because the wave was slow pushing. So she was just able to pick up all the experience she would have missed if that Echo had been able to hard push it in instead of getting the kill on the Nautilus. Ramis is now six. Let's see if he looks to use this window to maybe fight an objective or do really anything in this game. So far, it's more been a PVE sort of a jungle. Looks like Set yeah. and Ramus are clearing up for uh, Harold. Good trade down by Echo. Now LeBlanc has a chance to counter trade, but does not elect to do it in that minion wave. All in all, we've got about a, oh, let's say 30, my math is uh, 37 CS, 38 CS lead in the bot lane. We got a very large, we got like almost 45 minion advantage in that top lane. He does have a wave stacked up, so that will allow him to pick some up. Mid lane, we've got LeBlanc ahead 83 to 56. So bot lane and mid lane are winning for the side of the blue team, whereas top lane is very favoring this Nocturne. It looks like Nocturne takes advantage of the bottom lane being so far pushed up and end up picking up two kills, maybe getting the dragon here, pushing a lot of advantage on that. That no kill. flash on Draven there. He almost looked for the solo kill on the Sivir, who was just able to spell shield the Nautilus ult and walk away. Blitzcrank overextends, trying to clear vision though. The Blanc will pick up a kill. Ram is trying to do something on the top side while that happens. And uh, they're just trying to kill, the, they're desperately trying to kill. Maybe. Oh, it looks like Sent might die. <laughs> Aramis is just taking Yorg, those Yorg is in prime position for a double kill right here. <laughs> oh, if he has the E, maybe a flash. Oh, he definitely oh, gets this one. He okay. gets the single kill. Huh. As a jungler, That's, what do you want to do from the after they get the double kill there? Well, he didn't get the double. He only got the single. No, I mean, red team got the double kill bottom lane, right? And then they oh, go to want, dragon. The what does the blue team jungle do? What does the blue team jungle do? He has Herald. So I think the play is uh, if you can't do something top with that big of a minion wave that you're going to have to shove in before you can use Herald top, you can just look to invade the enemy jungle. Because like top lane wasn't a play that he could make. He tried. So he tried to make a play top lane. So it was a good attempt to do something cross map, but the better play was just to have invaded the enemy's top side. Or maybe tried to summon Rift Herald mid because LeBlanc was so strong and Echo had to walk down to the Drake. Echo trying to get the solo kill on LeBlanc. I don't think he'll get it though. He's actually duped out by the clone. <laughs> <laughs> Struggles under turret with the set. Uh, looks like LeBlanc is pinging for the Ramus to hold the wave in mid lane. She has her loot, her loot and Zeko, so she can really start putting the hurt down on people now. It is the warrior blue smite on Nocturne, so he is looking for more damage or to build. I think that's probably going to be a oh wait we have gonna fight here in the mid lane echo gets the stun down it's going to be a 2v2 oh. echo still has ult leblanc is going to fall first echo is just gonna ult back he's actually out of mana we'll see if they can actually pick this one up oh he has Flash. enough mana now if he wants to die he can't okay and he uses mana again for e nice 2v2 good hook by the nautilus to oh, get out nice of nice queued up nautilus q to counteract it but yeah, we're really a lot of these fights are going to the red team with their counter gank there, 
Echo's really starting to pick up some speed with his... He's got three kills. He's going to be able to back here and finish his proto belt, which really helps him in his engages. Welcome back. It's the double the F sword build. Oh, pause, from the pause, trade. pause again. Okay, what's your timer at? 43. That is very off. Spectrum, Spectrum is a great company. Love them to death. Uh, just tell me when you get it. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit. Okay, paused. Ready to go in three, two, one, play. It looks like Set has to blow Flash after Yorick threatens him with the Maiden. Blitzcrank looking to hook here. He nope. gets the hook, but it is not by always the on point with those cues to save him from this. This Rift Herald is just going to be used to knock down that bot lane tower that will enable the Draven to go other places on the map and allow LeBlanc. She really likes to go off into that side lane because she's really hard to answer there. Whereas in mid lane, Echo can just clear the wave. Echo going in for a trade. I don't know if he wins this one. Nice dodge back by Ages of Fizzle on that Echo W. When he's out on the trade by half of his health bar to none taken from him. But Echo will just heal up with that Corrupting Potion. Set, on the other hand, is really taking a beating in this top lane. Has half the CS of his lane opponent. And fighting again in the mid lane. Altercation. Ooh, Echo gets the stun. LeBlanc is just looking to burst him down. There it is. Before she the was just waiting off. for her ult. And Playing then she with knew, her food. <laughs> she knew if she WW'd that this Echo might not have the reaction time to plus R, and he didn't. Or it could just be high ping players, you know? True. Have the ping. True. I know that feeling. But I'm pretty sure they're both on Google Fiber, so... Uh... uh, no. Actually, fact fact check here. Uh, AJ, AJ is also on Spectrum. Hey, well, AJ's on Spectrum. AJ is on Spectrum. So, so he's got the 62, 65 AJ's ping. got the disadvantage here, actually. <laughs> yeah. I believe uh, Aaron's on Comcast. Oh, Draven's gonna die so... here. Draven oh, flashes, barely getting missed by the Blitzcrank after flashing in a line. Just in like frustration that, that he didn't press it earlier to guarantee the Draven kill. <laughs> Which means seeing Nocturne top lane, they are going to go for this trade of Herald for that dragon, which is what I thought was going to happen early game with such a strong bot lane presence, but it turned out that Rammus was able to get the first Herald, which is weird because like he was getting, the set was getting stomped in lane, so... I don't know how that one worked out totally. It's like Set got his one shove in, and then uh, they just took it. I think the lane assignments should be Set bottom, Draven mid, with LeBlanc top lane. Set just going in on this Sivir. Sivir deciding that spell shielding ult or ER against her religion and Almost at the spell W that wasn't the gonna hit her. <laughs> she could have just spell shielded the ult or the E and walked away. But I, I guess she just wanted to flex that she could walk away anyway. They are going to push this top lane. Blitzcrank Ooh. hook will go just wide of LeBlanc. Honestly, if they don't send some more people up here, they can just take this tier two. The York, York is not giving really a strong. shit about Draven's auto this attacks. Is, this is the problem with Draven. This is why a lot of Draven mains have been complaining. This is why he got buffed his patches, because Draven is not very good in this meta, because Draven really suffers in metas where he just dies before he can one-shot the enemy carries. This, look at that. Ninja Tabby is the only item that gives uh, York tankiness there, and he's just unkillable. Nautilus is probably going to go down here. He flashes out. Set has the W, will hit 
but not the true damage portion on the Sivir, so she gets out. Nautilus, Nautilus coming back, back in, trying to assist the LeBlanc. The <laughs> LeBlanc going in for the 1v1 against Echo. Echo yeah, will Echo react this time to the LeBlanc, LeBlanc damage? does not think he will. Uh, he has enough time after two Ws, right? So he's like a sliver of health with any compress R after it's gone through. Good guy Nautilus, just wants to help feed the hungry. <laughs> also, ignoring the item of Stone Plate and going for what looks like a redemption first item. See, he's got to redeem himself in the eyes of the poor as well, I guess. Hmm. So not complaining uh, his Knight vow, Knight's Vow either. It looks like maybe he got instructions to change his item path in the middle of building Knight's Vow first oh, item. Oh, LeBlanc sitting on a ward. Insta one oh. shot. <laughs> oh, wait. Woo. She gets out. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wait. The Blitzcrank. Wait, Blitzcrank. Oh. Let's Blitzcrank getting is preoccupied. And she's just gonna go over the wall with W. Oh, just Ramus we block this? Get out. Oh, Blitzcrank geez. might just oh. in here. Nautilus hitbox was a bit forgiving on that one. Silver's I thought chunk, that was gonna They can hit. fight him here? Yep. Blitzcrank gets the flash. flash. And that, that is the ultimate, I know you're not gonna have the reflexes to press R. I will just <laughs> one-shot your echo. Aaron in the boomer reflexes. <laughs> Striking. Oof. Nocturne does choose to go for the Dusk Blade. I would have personally probably gone for something like the, uh... Um, yeah, what is that item called? I am actually just trying to blank. You know which one I'm talking about, right? The, uh... The, who's... What item for who? Uh, Nocturne. The uh, lethality item that gives life steal and attack speed. Hmm. Sanguine, maybe? Sanguine, yeah. I was I was thinking Spear of Sojin, and I was going, that's definitely not correct. <laughs> that is a TFT item. doesn't exist in League of Legends. TFT player here. <laughs> Hi, guys. I, I play mobile games. My name is Brandon. Hi, Brandon. <laughs> Push into that bot wave. Set is not being contested in this top wave, so he's finally going to be able to pick up some farm if he chooses to not miss the cannon minion. He does get the cannon minion. That's excellent. Yusuf is a right punch. Siver is just playing that shove mid lane mindlessly game style that Siver players love. It's the uh, 300 CS win condition. Be so boring that eventually the enemy Third just of the runs way there. Cannon. <laughs> Draven almost has 200 CS at this point in the game Doing really well for himself on farm That means I want to see How many adoration stacks he's sitting at Oh, Ooh, Ramus, Ramus gets hooked They're doing Caught a really bad wall ig Backing in a bush that was awarded die ig by ignite Draven is sitting on If right will let me look at Draven's passive Draven is sitting on 267 Adoration stacks. Which converts... Ooh, doggy. To a lot of gold. <laughs> I don't know, chief. <laughs> Mid lane turret is taken. They're trading it for this Drake. AJ Ooh. tries to steal. It is secured by the Yorick Q. Nautilus blowing his ultimate to maybe slow them down as they're going to go in it. Mid lane... Not quite sure what that was for. Honestly, there's been a lot of times where this blue team's just been sitting on the red team's vision. So they, if they can do a better job at clearing out vision, that would be good. Nautilus, if you had old here. Only, yeah. If only he had old. <laughs> if he had old here. He might just be looking to feed the poor, though. No? Big man, lots of meat. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Meanwhile, top lane turret is going to be taken down. That is a trade that they will like. Echo looking maybe to go in, but Set just walks away. LeBlanc and York in this bot lane. York actually does not have very much MR, so he's going to have to back off because LeBlanc will just burst him. Draven just got his Infinity Edge, so he is on a two-item power spike. He's really looking to fight now, because this is at the point where he is probably the strongest he'll be all game. With his item advantage over Sivir and the enemy team not being particularly tanky yet. With Nocturne only having uh, Mercury Treads means that Draven will still be doing 
a lot of damage. Zeke's I hero picked up first for the Blitzcrank with a rush on Shirelia's on Nautilus. I have not seen that one rushed on Nautilus. Honestly, it looks like Knight second. Honestly, I just think the Stone Plate is such a giga broken item. Sivir forced to flash because apparently she didn't have Spell Shield or she just hit her F key before the E one. Nautilus looking for why a would, hook again. Why would a Sivir need a Spell Shield in uh, Draven Lane? <laughs> so, That's a good one. So, uh, Nocturne also choosing to spell shield the auto after the Q, but since there was no one there, he does get away with it. Nocturne looking to go in on this Draven. Draven, Draven flashes out. Draven flash. Might Draven get a might kill? Just kill him here. Yep. Yeah, Draven just kills him here. Uh, but falls. Cashes was... in 700 gold on his passive. That is Plus bounty kill. on uh, Nocturne. That might just be the Nocturne bounty. I didn't. I don't know oh, if I saw Echo the passive goal. Oh, Echo fails to flash over the wall. That's one you don't want to see. Nice. Dead to the ignite anyway. So, that flash there was not really worth it. Yorick, though, seeing all this action top lane means that he can get something bot lane. He's going to push his bot tower. Yorick players aren't really known for their team fighting prowess. More their uh, ability to randomly shove their head at towers and hope that. Nobody Their looks at them. Enemy team does not walk towards them. They, they sort of have the Hashinshin play style of just perma split push and then ping your team when you die when there was nothing to take on the map. <laughs> Here, though, Blitzcrank could Blitzcrank, look for a yeah, hook. This on is a free set, set kill. Set doesn't have Mobius. Blitzcrank does. Getting body blocked by the Sivir. Moon aside. And set he gets the hook. to juke away from his minion wave and will die for it. I think he dies there anyway, because Blitzcrank has Mobius, he doesn't, he just catches up, just no, by no, walking but, up. But if he kites into the minion wave, Blitzcrank would have to tank minions and uh, get slowed by both the new Mobius, No, no, no. Mobius. Mobius do not be there. Since they change the cost, you no longer get uh, your movement speed reduced by minion attacks. Really? Really. It's 100 more gold, <laughs> but you don't get slowed by minions. That's actually just a buff. That's, that's stupid. Why'd they do that? <laughs> Why'd they buff Moby Boots? <laughs> yeah, it feels bad to have to wait an extra, like, minion on a melee champion in lane. To wait one more cannon minion, or not take a stupid caster early. Yep. <laughs> and they wanted me to buy Swifties, why? <laughs> <laughs> Nautilus taking that blast cone. Will get this ward? No, he cancels Ooh, the auto attack. He could have auto reset with his W. He could have auto reset with his W, or, you know, just not canceled the auto attack. Because, <laughs> in fact, if you don't cancel it, the auto attack will just hit the thing that's invisible. Blitzcrank looking to maybe hook this Nautilus here. Thinks that, for whatever reason, him not standing on a ward. I don't know. He knew where everyone was. Oh, he Blitz gets him. Max will range get hook. The max range hook on the Nautilus. Nautilus, Nautilus no needs flash. To just drop his ult. Oh. They, oh, that's a clump. Nautilus goes down. Uh, Sivir's so their for... jungler. Sivir is killing herself by hitting that. Draven will get hooked, though. The teleport coming down from the Echo before the set even decides to channel his own means that. They can look to do this Drake, but again, they don't have a jungler. Ramus' flash is on cooldown, though, so it will just go over to the other side. Soul point acquired by this red side. Honestly, the fights that Blue Team needs to take are just ones where LeBlanc is able to get into the back line. And Draven doesn't just sprint it into Blitzcrank. LeBlanc, big wave bot lane. They're going to have to send someone to answer that. It looks like Yorick will be the person. As Draven respawns in two, so they can't really do much outside of that. Yorick's going to get there before the wave can crash into the turret, too. Really sucks. Did LeBlanc see Nocturne here? 
He sure did. did. LeBlanc? Uh, well, LeBlanc just... out of abilities. One getting negated by the spell shield. Gets the kill anyway. Might die to I Yorick here. She doesn't Yorick get away, right? Echo. Yorick, Yorick doesn't catch up. Echo is oh, not ca Oh. Ghouls, but with the jungler the distraction. down and the mid laner bot, they will be able to take this Baron. If that's uh, me playing LeBlanc, that's a trade I'll take every time. Talp going to check the Baron. After it's it far dead. too late. Everybody's Bot lane tower nunnies. will fall for this probably though. Because they're choosing to walk back home instead of pressing the base button. I, I, even if they base, they still get that turret with the... Uh, oh, the one rune York took to wreck turrets. Tomorrow. Yeah. Just preventing him from getting the inhib turrets what you want, but he's not wanting that anyway. York's had plenty of time in his days of solo queue split pushing, so he knows when the team's probably going to come back. Looks like they're trying to siege mid here with their Baron buff. Do so with ease. Now, it's a 4v4 in the mid lane. They're getting a lot of free damage on the turret. Sivir gets knocked up, doesn't use her spell shield. Nautilus forced to flash away using the Charlelees defensively. Ooh, Blitzcrank looking for a hook here. Everybody's on the back foot. Gets the Ramus. Ramus gets hooked. Now in. they can turn, Ramus maybe. Is pretty tanky to most of their team. Echo forced Echo to ult. Has Echo's wounds, really can't. doing damage to Ramus. Flash into Draven the gets Draven to pop ult. off here. Double, double kill. Double LeBlanc crit. Double axes. And now it's, it's just, just a York up. trying to clean it up, but he should probably have just walked away because there's no way he wins this three v one. Draven gets a thousand gold on that shutdown. Draven, balling. You thought Pike was the money man. Well, you're watching a new money man. <laughs> you ban the Pike. LeBlanc misses the chain. Does half of the HP of Blitzcrank anyway. Looks like they're going for two inhibs here and then Dragon. Can't quite end right now. They need to leave as soon as possible once they take this because they have not yet spent all the money they just got. And the other team has respawned. Draven Perch is a mortal reminder and another BF sword. Blanc is going to get herself. Probably a Void Staff. Oh, bad book. <laughs> I Leandre guess there is healing would not on... approve. I think Leandre Salesman... On the block, it's sort of hard to justify a uh, Morello. Not a Morello, a yeah. Leandre. The way you conduct yourself in fights is not that of a... Uh, is, uh... What's that one item? Worth it? Spellbinder? Spellbinder? Once more of a bursty No, champion. but I think... I think the item you should have gotten there was the Void Staff. As it will do more against these MR opponents. The Nocturne. With the Merc Treads Negatron. It's the only one with Merc MR, Merc Treads right? Negatron. The Blitzcrank. Right, he uses a little not. bit of... But I, I think Morello here is a fine purchase. The free kill bad. on a Nocturne as he jumps into the team without much follow-up. And Nautilus and Ramus is just really liking being in their tower. 
Feel there, should, there should be a free siege now. They're all full health. They have to answer mid wave. Good use of the York ult to get the top wave without having to send somebody. Okay. Nautilus Q goes just wide. Hitboxes for big giving. Lock, but apparently... Ignite expended to get the uh, wave clearing Sivir away. Draven just going in on the York. Draven is face banking. Draven will go down. Echo ult out. Set is going to fall here. This fight really goes in favor of the blue team if LeBlanc pops off. LeBlanc with the triple kill. LeBlanc might get a quadra here. Nope, Set. Nocturne it. coming LeBlanc in to clean up. Down. Nocturne should be able to take this fight. <laughs> the auto reset on the Q for the set that has been on the back foot all game but now showing what he's got. Set could just end. Yeah, 30 second death timers. He's Echo's up in 24, Sivker's up in 20. Set should just be able to not if not end the game, get both Nexus towers. But it should be game over though. He's going for it. Sivir up in 8, 7. They won't get it. That's no, game. And game 1 goes to team 2. I thought it was team one. GG. Team one uh, played yesterday. And lost. Uh, Aaron just named the pro draft wrong. Okay. Wow. Now we're going to game two, and they're switching sides. Both teams have a five minute break. Let's go to the restroom, talk strategy. anything? No, it's not. Aaron with the boomer reaction time again, not getting the pro draft out to the spectators or the main lobby before I do. Yes, Team 2 would love to see that. Team Big, however, I doubt. It looks like we're taking one more minute. Maybe someone's AFK.
Looks like we're getting ready checks from both teams. About to start the draft. Brandon, are you there? Looks like he's not back yet. I'm back. Welcome back, just in time. You're doing ready checks. I need to change it to game two. 